Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Glad that you're back. Unfortunately, this is a pretty bad video that I'm going to make. Um, last weekend, I didn't make a video, but last weekend, I wrecked my car. That's right, I wrecked my Camaro. I told him to be careful, and the fucking first thing he does, he runs her into the mud. He's sitting there just gunning it, spinning the fucking tires, burning the It was a pretty scary deal, you know, driving at midnight, heading home from a uh, car cruise type thing that we had down here in Kentucky in Somerset. Um, everything was going good. We went down, we enjoyed the cruise. We went out to the main strip and we got to see a bunch of cars and whatnot. And uh, so me and a few friends, we all decided to head home. Oh, it was about 10 o'clock at night. It's about a two hour ride back home from Somerset. And uh, everything was going good until we got into the construction zone. And uh, it was pitch dark, you know, they just black topped the roads and it was hard to see as it was already. And a big orange construction barrel for some reason was out in the middle of the road. And uh, since I was the leading car, I'm the one that got the, the barrel. So let me flip the camera around here and I'm gonna show you the damage that one of those big orange uh, construction barrels do at 55 mile an hour. As you can tell from that report there, it's kind of stupid stuff that was in it. Some of that stuff will not be going back on this car. Um, the Camaro on the fender is not going back on. The 6.2 is not going back on. The red SS up there is not going back on. So that's saving, you know, a few dollars on those three things. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to claim it on insurance yet. Uh, buddy was talking about maybe trying to repaint the whole car mixed in with all that. But I don't know if I'm going to turn it into insurance and just kind of bite the bullet. So uh, I will keep you updated on my decision what I'm going to do with the car. So as you can see right off the bat, the fender is damaged pretty damn good. Um show you down here on the door as you can tell right here is scratched it goes from here all the way down to the fender luckily the door is a uh, savable it's not all damaged it's not dented up it's just scuffed up pretty good um got the mirror up here too how it got that i don't know but it did so, as you can see, it shoved the fender in pretty good. You can't even open the door because it binds on down there. Um, got that. Then we moved to the front of the car where the accident really took most force. So, as you can tell, it busted off my rear, my lower spoiler. I had to tie it up in the middle of the road with a phone charger so that wouldn't be dragging the ground and destroy that but it knocked out my led uh marker light as you can tell it's all scratched up it did bust a bumper there like i said it knocked that off um you see some damage there uh it's all cracked up through there and whatnot. But uh, luckily I was paying attention and right at the last minute, I swerved to miss it because if I wasn't, I would have hit it with the front of the car and it probably would have deployed the airbags in the car. Wish that would have totaled the car out. Um, luckily it didn't and I just, caused this damage 
Um, it also did get the wheel too. Let me uh, try to find it here. As you can tell, it's scuffed up here. Right in here and right in here, it got the wheel. I did take it to a body shop um, locally here that uh, a friend of mine works at. And they, uh, I got a quote on repairing the car for the uh, damages. And uh, I'm going to show you that here now, what they quoted, what it's going to cost to fix this car. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to remove this lower spoiler here. Uh, there is a car show tomorrow. And I'm still going to take the car to the car show in this condition. So let's go ahead, let's remove the screws that hose that on and get that rear lower spoiler taken off. So we had got the lower lip off. We're gonna go ahead and pull the two sided tape off of it. Um, we're gonna to try to push that back in as best as I can. That way it's not sticking out. So uh, let's go ahead and let's try to get this stuff off. Push that. I bought me a new mower too, a couple weeks ago. And uh, there's one subscriber on here that watches these videos. He just bought an X Mark mower. And uh, you know who you are there. I try to get a big boy like you, but my pockets ain't that deep. So we got this one, but let's go ahead. Let's get this pushed back in and get that straightened out. In the car too, she was sleeping when I hit the barrel. So it is what it is, you know, but. wife in the background but uh yeah it just i just thought i'd make a video of showing the damage it done to the car um i'm not happy it, it kind of hurt my feelings when i hit that barrel there was a lot of cussing going on when uh i hit that thing but i did call the police get a police report and all that so we got that all intact so, uh,
Comment below. Tell me what you all think about the uh, the damage on the car. Would you turn it into insurance or would you pay it out of your own pocket? Um, oh, let me show you the... Uh, it did get the inner fender too. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh, if you like what you saw, comment, subscribe, like this video. Give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, don't matter. Um, and we'll catch you on the next video. And in the next video, I'm going to show you what I decide to do with the car.